The following workflow to develop is the System 1 Navigate to Work Items. So its task is to navigate to the Work Items page using the direct URL. So the precondition for this workflow is that the System 1 should be open and need to have the system one open let me just check yeah i have a system one open and for the post action uh, it should be navigated successfully to the desired url or the work items page it has one argument the url so let's start creating the workflow for the navigating to work items go to the project uh, panel right click on the system one folder and select add new sequence and we will name this workflow system one navigate navigate to work items then hit create and here uh, we'll start creating the in argument so go to the argument tab and uh, let's name the first argument or the only argument in this workflow in url it should be in direction and string argument type and uh, let's assign a default value for the test testing later so for the work items we need to ne use this uh, url later we will uh, copy this url and put to our configuration file make sure to surround the value with a double code next is uh, we need to add an attached browser activity so look for an attached browser activity and here let's also indicate the application then we will indicate any system one page but should not be the work item so let me navigate to different page maybe this so indicate the page and edit the selector this needs to be a flexible selector so we need to replace this dashboard word with an asterisk character or the wildcard character then hit ok and then within this uh, activity we need to add a navigate to activity so look for the navigate to and here I will just indicate the work items page so for the URL value, it should be our in URL argument. And that should be it for our navigate to work items workflow. So again, we can test this workflow by navigating to any of the system one page. This time, maybe I should try this page and then go back to studio, click the run file to test the workflow. And it's done. Let's see what happened. Yes, it's now navigated to the work items page of the system one. So let's go back to studio. Uh, remove the default value that we use for testing purposes. And after that, make sure to hit the save button. And let's close this workflow. The next workflow is the uh, system one scrape data table. And its task is to extract data from the work items page. And this workflow differs from the extract uh, workflow of the calculate client security hash exercise. This exercise will extract data per page depending on the transaction number. So for the precondition, the work item page is open and has existing data. And for the post action, the data is extracted from the target work items page. And we have one argument for this workflow, the out data table. So let's create the workflow. Again, in UiPath Studio, right click on the system one folder and select add new sequence. And we will name this workflow system one scrape data table. Click the create button and let's create the out argument so go to the argument tab and let's name this argument out data table and the type should be data table 
So select system that data that data table and make sure to set the direction to out. Alright, so here the first activity that we need is the data scraping. So we will click this data scraping and after clicking that, uh, click next and select any uh, of the cell here in our work items page. And when you see this pop up asking if you want to extract the data from the whole table, just select yes. And for the maximum number, we will set this to zero because we don't want to limit our data. And hit finish. So now uh, for this pop-up question uh, asking if our data spans to multiple pages. Uh, yes, our data span to multiple pages. But uh, in this exercise, in this project, we will extract data per page only. So we will select no. Alright, so now uh, after completing the data scraping part, we need to update uh, some of the label name in these activities. So for the data scraping, maybe I can say work items. And then here we can update the label name to work items. Alright, next is we need to delete the or remove the default variable assigned to the extract activity output so that's the extract data table we can also delete that here in the variable panel we don't want to use the default variable name so here uh, activate the extract structure data activity and we will assign our out argument which is the out data table argument And yep, so here um, the expectation is that when this workflow is called, the the target page in the work item should be the the page equals to the page number. So that should be all for the scrape data table part. Uh, we can now save this uh, workflow. Um, maybe we can just test it later because well well it, it simply do just a simple thing it just extract the, the current active page in the work items so it, it would be better to test it later once we have some of the uh, validations the check if the page number is equal to the transaction number so later you will know more about <laughs> what I'm saying so for now, uh, we can save this workflow and close it. For the next workflow, we will work on the filtering the work items data table or the, the items that we extracted on the scrape data table. So let's do that in the next video. And see you on that video.